All right, fellas. Well, these are the coats that came up on my truck. And uh, this is the fix that I've done on the truck to uh, correct these coats. So if you get these coats, which is uh, DPF, outlet temperature high, and then region temperature out of range low, uh, that would be exactly what I'm doing on this video. That's how you clear out these coats. Uh, that's what the codes mean, which means that uh, you have some kind of leak on the exhaust, the exhaust pipe that goes to the DPF filter. So there you go. These uh, these four codes: one, two, three, four. If you get them on your truck, on your Freightliner Cascadia, this would be how to clear these codes and uh, why these codes are coming up on your truck. Hope I help somebody out. See you guys on our next video. What's going on, fellas? YouTube, what's going on? Hey, uh, this is what I'm doing today to the truck. I got a couple crazy codes. Uh, what were the codes, baby? High, te high temp. High temp. Out of range low. Out of range low. So if you get them codes, high temp, out of range low, load, low. L O O W. What you want to do is you want to come and check on your uh, your exhaust system, your exhaust system. All this, all this pipe right here. Well, what that meant was that I had a leak. I had a leak here in this clamp. Here's my DPF filter, and uh, I had a leak right here. Uh, as you guys can see, all this is all black right here because it was leaking from somewhere up here on my old clamp so i had to go get my had to go get a new clamp which uh cost me 32 bucks now this one doesn't have a gasket so that's pretty good uh the one with the gasket and the clamp cost 37 bucks at freightline which would be this clamp back here that clamp this clamp right here this one's got the gasket inside which costs us 32 bucks. But uh yeah, fellas, if you guys ever get them coats. Uh, what was it again, baby? High temp. High temp. Out of range low. Out of range low. Uh just check out your exhaust, your exhaust system. Uh all your clamps, make sure there's no leaks. Uh again, mine's had a leak on this clamp right here. Here's my my DPF filter. And I had a a leak so my mechanic just said to replace that clamp right there so that's what I did uh you also what you want to do is you want to check this guy this guy is called the bellow it's expensive it's 300 bucks but uh you also want to check for leaks there and the way you check for leaks is just to make sure that there's no black smoke coming out of the clamps from this side or this side uh but yeah i had my mechanic uh uh do the dyno on the truck yesterday last night because i had them uh fall coats and uh i thought it was it had something to do with uh my dpf filter but uh thank god it had nothing to do with it it was just a clamp that uh it was leaking now i could have just tightened the clamp but uh i mean i don't know when was the last time the clamps got swapped out so I just decided to buy a brand new one. And uh, there it is, fellas. There it is. So if you get some weird coats on your truck that uh, just don't make sense, low, high, uh, it's pretty much uh, you have a leak on your exhaust pipe. So just follow your exhaust pipe all the way to your turbo. All the way to your turbo. Just pretty much where the sensors are. As you can see, there's a sensor there that would, would have sent something out there. And then there's a bunch of sensors on top of your DPF filter. So, you know, you want to check your clamps on your DPF filter right here. And then that clamp. And then these clamps right here. That would be your bellow. And there's another clamp there. And then you just follow your exhaust pipe all the way to your turbo. And uh, see which one is leaking. 
and uh, that would be your problem. Just crazy coats, low range, whatever. Uh, I'm going to try to post uh, what the coats were that uh, came out on the on the computer when uh, my mechanic uh, did the dyno on it. So you guys can see what these coats look like. I'm going to see if I can put it on this video as soon as I get to the house and uh, edit this video. Alright fellas, well, there was nothing to it. It was just uh, the clamp. Uh, there was no gasket inside. All I did was take that uh, clamp off, loosen that, and then push on that exhaust up. And this thing came off. But uh, you don't have to push that exhaust up unless there's a gasket in there. But they didn't have a gasket in there. But I just made sure there was no gasket in there. And I just wrapped this clamp around and then uh, started screwing that on. And that's it. That is it. So, again, it wasn't at the major good thing. It was easy work. And the clamp only cost me $31. All right, fellas, I hope I was able to help somebody out. Uh, have a good day. We'll see you guys in our next video.